We're going to a place which is very special. This place we call it Private Bank of Cigar. Why Private Bank of Cigar? Because you will see and you will discover a world which is completely different. This is a place where we keep the cigars to our customers. What we, that's why we call it Private Bank of Cigars. But not only this, we age the cigars, we vintage the cigars, and this is how we can keep cigars during 10 years, 15 years, 20 years sometimes, but bring a new story to every single cigar. Now, what was very interesting, Patrick, in this story, it's in the beginning of the story, we thought that people will leave their cigars for eight, nine months, and after they will come and smoke them and turn, you know, to make a turnover of their stock. This was the story in the beginning. But today, we saw that we have different profile of consumer for this kind of cigar. You have some people, they wait two years, what we call an aging cigar, and after they smoke them, they put some new after you start to have people which are collectors of a cigar, even non-smokers who buy cigars to collect them. This we never thought in the beginning. That's how this private bank of cigars becomes a little bit famous because people love to, to have cigars. And based on this, we thought that <coughs> we, we saw that well, you have different kinds of cigars lovers. Uh, you have the ones which are buying sometimes only in one sizes they love. You can see every behind every safe you have a different profile. Uh, people who are addicted to a brand, people which are not addicted to a brand, but they love to have a selection of cigars. Some of them are smoking only <coughs> also those limited edition because those tobacco are very dark, very silky. They can keep them very long time. And this is very interesting because you follow, in fact, the smokers uh, in the way of how they think. Now, I'm not telling you that if we did this 25 years ago, the selection to be the same because 25 years ago was not the selection of today for sure but on the on, on the other hand cigars profile uh, cigar smokers profile was different than today Th that's why it makes very things very interesting but now this place is the private bank of cigar is fully booked and you need about eight months to have one place for you but hey what how do you charge the customers i think if we are a good company somewhere we cannot always asking for money, always asking for a charge, always asking. No, this is one of the service, if you are a good company, to offer to your cigar, to your customer, to offer to take care of his cigars. And every year, two times a year, we are opening all the boxes, checking all the boxes, brushing all the boxes, but this is the service. If you are a good company, this is a service which you, you, can, uh, you have to do for your customers. So you're providing it as a service, yes. no charges at no, all? No, it's no charges at all. But the customers have to buy from you. I, this is a key master. Will not come one box of cigar outside of our system of trade. Why? Because it's too much dangerous. If you bring cigars which we do not control the quality of the cigars, which we don't know from where they're coming from, you could have a big disaster. And this we don't know. So this might ruin the cigars? Completely. The cigars and the other ones. And the other ones. This, this is why. And now we have uh, 7.50. Do you have uh, uh, people waiting in line to take... Uh, yeah, we have about eight months, eight months waiting list.